congratulations, December graduates. You did it. My name is Camille Thomas, and I too am an ARCA alumni. I make sure to show everyone that degree because I worked hard for it, and I know you did too. I just want to welcome you to the ARCA alum family, let you know that we're always here to support you, and we're really excited to see all the work that you do in the future. Make sure you come home often. Have a good day. Bye. Hi, Madge. Well, I really don't know how the theater is going to operate without you next year. Uh, you did some amazing work there, so uh, thanks for putting in all that time uh, and energy. I know Mike's going to really miss you, uh, as will the other members of the team. Uh, it was also great uh, getting to know you uh, and playing some music with you in the Southern Appalachian Spring Band. Uh, I think we've only had one or two other uh, viola players uh, in that group over the years, and I'd love to hear that instrument in the group. Um, so thanks for playing with us. Uh, and congratulations, and I wish you all the best. Congratulations, Madge. I will be forever grateful to you for the work that you did in our ethnography class on dance and aging. You took over leadership of that team when I desperately needed someone with strong organizational skills and great digital media sensibilities, and that was you. The team appreciated you, I appreciated you, and I know that Norm appreciated your reaching out even after the class was over to help provide some photos to him for the Bircham Hills resident newsletter. You've got mad skills, Madge, and I can't wait to see what you do with them. Congratulations. What I'll miss most about ARCA is the intimate learning community and the amazing professors in the college. It was really um, a blessing and a pleasure to be in such a small community. Every time you walk down the hallway, you see a friendly face, people know your name, people care about you and care about your studies. I feel really fortunate to have had that for my undergraduate experience and I wish that everyone in ARCA feels as welcome and supported and um, encouraged as I did. Tyler, I want to congratulate you on your graduation from the RCAH. I really enjoyed our time in South Africa and we will always have the memories of being charged by an elephant. But for me, what stands out for, for my memories of you is being in the urban renewal class and you seeing your grandparents in the stories we were reading in the Sugru book. It brought home to me that history is not in the past, but is living today. Best of luck in all your future plans. We look forward to hearing where your journey takes you. Hi Tyler, congratulations on your graduation from ARCA. You've been an awesome research assistant for the ARCA Sister Circle Mentoring Program. Your leadership skills and creative skills have really helped to shape the program into what it is today. In addition, you have shown what it means to be a true mentor. We're gonna miss you. Congratulations again. Hey guys, I'm Simon. I'm a senior graduating this December. And I wanted to tell you guys my biggest takeaway from ARCA. I think my biggest takeaway from ARCA is the fact that it allowed me to challenge myself and test myself creatively. I got to explore my creative side on numerous occasions. Every single class allowed me to be creative in a different sense, whether it was my songwriting class, whether it was my Disney class, whether it was my um, writing class, like every single class allowed me to test a different part of myself and allow me to be creative in a sense of not just um, painting and like artistry, but like using my mind in the way I can depict the world in my in my perspective. And I think that's something I'm so thankful for with ARCA because it makes me so happy to say that I feel a sense of confidence that I never felt before. And I, and I owe it to ARCA, honestly. I owe it to ARCA that I can speak my mind and not be ashamed of it. So, thanks guys. Hello, Simon. In 3D painting, you were always present, worked really hard and incredibly experimental. I always got the feeling that you were having a conversation with the work and trying to figure out what it needed and extending yourself through that process. Uh, you were an, an amazing addition to the community. Uh, you're a great student. I hope the very best for you. And I hope you continue your conversation with reality. 
congratulations on your graduation. Bravo. Hi, Jonathan. Uh, it was great getting to know you in my senior seminar last year. Yes, it was just last year, even though it seems like a million years ago. Uh, but you always brought a great energy to the class, and I really appreciated the unique perspective that you uh, always brought. Uh, and you weren't afraid to speak your mind. Uh, so thanks for that. Uh, thanks also for all the great work you did uh, at the Lookout Gallery. Uh, congratulations on graduation, and good luck on your next steps. Ariel, I'm so glad to have met you. I appreciate the time we took to get to know one another, both professionally and personally. Your contributions in class provided perspectives that allowed your peers to think about life outside the ivory towers. I applaud you for all the adulting you juggled, managing a restaurant, home ownership, volunteering at your local animal shelter, all this while keeping your grades up. You also put family first, and they were equally contributors to your learning journey and still are. Good luck in graduate school, or at least that's where you were headed the last time we actually had a face-to-face -face conversation. Reach out if I can assist you in any way. Keep telling your story via watercolors. You were really starting to get better there closer to the end of the semester. Just, just keep doing it, all right? Take care. Congratulations, Ariel, from Costa Rica. It was such a pleasure to have you in class. Uh, the last two semesters of your career, uh, we got to travel virtually through Mali, uh, through Costa Rica, and really uh, collaborate in amazing ways with our partners around the world. I uh, can't wait to see what comes next to you because I know you're on quite a journey. Congratulations. Congratulations, Aaron. I'll never forget how you took the stage twice in Poetry Slams in Michigan prisons and shared your poems with incarcerated communities. Your compassion and courage inspired us all. We'll never forget that. Peace and light, my friend. you early in your time in ARCA and you proved yourself to be a quiet and careful and thoughtful scholar and thinker. And then you showed up a few years later in my songwriting class, a little scared, worried that you didn't really have any songwriting experience. And yet you wrote such amazing, poignant, moving songs. The entire class was always impressed by your songs and Chris and I were blown away week after week. You have creativity, imagination, and intellect for days, and I can't wait to see where you go next. Congratulations. Today we've been celebrating your time here in ARCA, your achievements, your courage, and your commitment to the common good. It's indeed a moment to celebrate. I know that all of the faculty and staff join me in saying how much we admire what you've done and how confident we are that you'll continue to put the skills and values you've developed to use in the service of the common good. That's what ARCA is all about. And so at a time like this, it's important to underscore just what we mean by the common good, what has happened to it and what it will take to restore it as the norms and institutions of our democracy have been repeatedly broken and the health of our people and others around the world has been attacked by a virulent pandemic. We have seen more clearly some of the pre-existing conditions that have persisted just beneath the surface. These include medical problems, but just as importantly, they include economic inequality and deep-seated racial, gender, and ethnic bias. Restoring a commitment to the common good requires that we root out all of these pre-existing conditions, for they are closely connected. It's now up to you to join forces to do this work. It will take time. You'll have to remember those who have gone before you, who have done their best and without whom we would not be here. Their work gives us hope. Your work will renew that hope for the students who will follow after you. We, both your predecessors and successors, 
are depending on you to keep the institutions and culture of democracy alive as we weather the current storm. Go forth, graduates of 2020, congratulations.